Hobby Mask Gunners. My name is Winston and welcome to my channel Bush is Vatbur. Bush is Vatbur. You don't hear that very often, right? Well, stay tuned because on this video I'm gonna share exactly why we chose that name and why we are doing this channel. <laughs> Some of you will criticize me for the choice in sound that I use for this channel, but I've done that for a reason. So while I have your attention, if you can take that sound and drop a beat on it, make it last for more than 10 seconds, maybe 30, 40, 50 seconds, I would love to use that and have a personalized sound. So drop a comment down below. Let's get in contact and let's get that done. So why the name? Well, Bushy is short for Busman. Bushman in English is Bushman and that's where we come from. That's our heritage. We are Bushman, we come from Khoisan and there's always a stigma to um, um, everybody regardless of what race you are that you grow up in a certain way and you get attached to that way of living and that is how your life ends and it's a continuous cycle depending on your background and your surroundings that you know sometimes you have this big dream and um, you tell it to people and um, they keep on shutting you down. You know, I've watched this video of uh, Steve Harvey where he says I was reading a book one time that had a quote in there from Albert Einstein and Albert Einstein said imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. If you think about that, that's a really, really true statement. Because everything you see in this world came from somebody's imagination. Everything. Somebody was talking on the phone one day, on that wall phone, connected to the cord, and tried to walk, and it didn't go no further. And he wanted to just go outside and get something out the car. He said, somebody said, you know what, I wish I could take this phone outside. Everybody in here got a cell phone. It was in somebody's imagination. Somebody imagined that. Somebody imagined everything. Somebody got tired of walking. Somebody got tired of driving cars. Somebody said, we're going to fly. You're not fitting to fly. Everybody in here have been on the plane. See, your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why they call it the evidence of things not seen? Your imagination, you the only one can see it. You the only one can see it. See, so all this stuff you've been imagining was not some hocus pocus. When you imagine stuff, it's actually God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. That's what your imagination is. Why do you keep imagining yourself with a second home? Because God wants you to have a second home. Why do you keep imagining yourself in a supervisory capacity on another job? Because God really wants you to have that. Why you keep dreaming of opening a business one day? That's because that's what God really got for you. And he put it in your imagination. The problem with your imagination, though, is you tell it to the wrong people. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. If you have this big dream of doing something that you that everybody else is not um, familiar with, or it's not something that the, the the norm that we do, then this is something to motivate you to start building and working to your dreams. Because tomorrow, those people that shoots you down, look at their lives and look at where they are. If your dreams are bigger than them, it's time to step up and not take consideration what they have to say because that's man's opinion of you what does god have in store for you and god only blesses his people it's like us as, as parents if we if our children does well we are quick to reward them and that's what god wants for us only the best for his children so if you want to do something bad, bad, better than your what you what, what you are currently uh, um, um, known for or currently used to have god has something better for you and if you have the faith 
if you have that imagination that 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 that, that preview of the forthcoming interaction in your mind that's what god has placed in your mind not for the next person to see they will always judge what you are tell what you are telling them but god has something better for you and if you want to do something you will achieve it all you have to do is start that's all you have to do just start and if you fail there's always a lesson to failure because if you fail learn the lesson get up get over it if you know what you've done wrong avoid that if you know that that is fixable fix it and try again but successful you will be my wife and i decided that listen let's go back to how it was if you look at how our grandparents and great grandparents grew up everything that they have done came from the earth everything that they have consumed was more organic than anything else the food they ate was something that they planted the fruit they ate was trees that they planted themselves nurtured themselves and enjoyed themselves the meat that they ate was cattle and poultry that they grew and bred and fed themselves everything was organic even the medicine came from the earth they planted the medicine themselves if ever there was a time that they would go to a shop or to the doctor or wherever to get medicine it will be lenin's medicine and that also is organic and just as the medicine that they've planted i mean we have a plant right here it's called beru and we will drink we will, we will we will cook it up boil it up and drink water and that coupled with our faith in god coupled with our obedience to the law by social distancing and sanitizing of hands that kept us safe and healthy for this whole period of the pandemic also growing up um, you know the nice to have so my, my, my mom my mom was my mom is an amazing woman with the salary with the wages that she earned she made sure that we had what we needed and come Christmas then we will have the nice to have like ox tongue um, the turkey duck you know those are expensive meat that you can't afford during the year so you have to wait when there's extra money in the end of the year well you know i wanted i told my wife that listen i worked too hard to wait for christmas to buy ox tongue or duck duck or turkey or whatever the case may be if i'm less for an ox tail or i'm less for a leg of lamb i want to go to my fridge open up my fridge and prepare it and eat it myself and i will know exactly what that animal ate and what i'm eating because i fed that animal so we want to go back to 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 living organic and one day when we grow it to be big we can maybe go commercially if you also look at how our parents grew up you know there was a sense of generational wealth so see i spoke about generational wealth there was a sense of generation there's the other one um there's a sense of generational wealth <laughs> move now let me finish okay. So there's a sense of general generational wealth so what happens is that back in the day that people used to people used to what, what whatever they farm whatever they did that is carried over to the air and normally what you would want to have is your eldest son must be a boy and that son must actually be able to do the work whatever is required so they must be able to take the the the, the animals out you know they need out for grazing you know um, poultry look after the chickens um, do some work in the garden they need to know how everything works to have that sense of um, um, uh, oh, entitlement to whatever they need to inherit so that's what we what we what we're trying to do i mean these days we leave our kids with life insurance money with homes with um, with cars and come back later two months three months down the line everything is gone i mean look at that tv show um, i blew it I mean, people get millions and millions. A couple of months down the line, everything is finished. So what people back in the day used to do is the kids used to work in the fields, work in the garden, work around the house, so that when they have, uh, when, when the parents pass away, they can easily step in and take over and, and, and inherit that generational wealth. Or, and that, was, that is what it was. Generational wealth was in the form of cattle, in the form of poultry and because that is what they used to trade this one is a farmer this one is a baker i trade you eggs for bread and that's how they used to trade back in the day but unfortunately there is no 
there is no wealth to move over to the to the kids and that's why we bought this property we want to go back to giving our kids that sense of i need to work towards something that i need to um, receive one day i need to make sure that i know what kind of work goes into it and that's the wealth that we are trying to create here we are going to start small we know nothing about farming at all i mean maybe not at all maybe what with what we have seen and what we have uh, noticed and what our parents and great grandparents and whatever they did and all that knowledge that were passed over to us but hands-on experience we do not have this right here will be an experiment and not really an experiment but we are trying or aiming to grow this farm into something big to sustain our family and hopefully in the future go commercially and the kids in my family will be hands-on involved and that's why we're doing this channel because we're gonna start small to get used to everything and while we are starting small you can learn from us because while I did my research everything is overseas um, I'm following a channel um, where a guy in Uganda is a doctor and he's doing farming or well, he started with poultry farming um, layers specifically chicken layers so he grew that he actually resigned and he retired at the age of 28 and to take his farming career a little bit further and do something about it the problem is not the problem is the benefit of that channel is that you learn everything about poultry farming about chickens about layers and stuff the only problem is that when he speaks in inches you have to translate to centimeters the materials that you use he shares the amount and everything that he and, and everything that he spends and even the money that he makes on eggs and the money that he spent on buying the chickens on the other hand i need to now go and do my own research this side but on this channel i'm going to show you everything that i can to show you what we are doing include pricing include everything that we need to do um, to get a certain project done um, whatever it is cost related um, effort time options we're going to share everything we're going to be transparent basically we're going to be very transparent to show you exactly what is going on and how to do certain things and if there's something that you would like to see um, drop us a comment and we can see how we're going to incorporate that into what we want to do on this in this place so in a nutshell the purpose of the channel is to share with you everything that we're gonna everything we, we, that we're gonna do small scale farming related and also those projects in and around the house to help you do it yourself save on some money and in the future maybe enjoy the fruits of your labor because you're gonna be doing it yourself so if you think that you you, you would like to have that kind of information maybe consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you can be notified if we have any further uploads or any other new uploads um, also like this uh, video if you like the like what i've shared with you today if you don't give us that unlike button no problem it's your opinion everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i would like to know you know the comments if you have a comment if you don't like it drop a comment and tell us exactly what you don't like about it so we can maybe improve on the content that we bring to you that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe, keep well, stay blessed. Away.